Hey, what's going on you guys? Jared Beckstrand here, doctor of physical therapy, toneandtitan.com, coming at you today with six of my favorite postpartum exercises that you can do to tone and strengthen your abs after pregnancy. The best part about these is that they're also diastasis recti friendly. They can even help to heal up and close that diastasis gap. So coming at you right now. All right, so whether it's been six weeks, six months, or six years since you last had your baby, one of the most common questions that I get asked here on Tone and Titan, on this YouTube channel, on my website, physical therapy clients, personal training patients, all of them may come to me and just say, oh, what can I do to train my mommy pooch or my mommy tummy or my mommy belly? I've heard it referred to as just about everything. Now, here's the thing. In order to tone and tighten your abs after a pregnancy, you've got to um, activate and train the right muscles in the right way while avoiding activating and straining other muscles. One common cause of that mommy pooch or that mommy tummy is a diastasis recti. Now what that means is when your abs or when your belly grows so much with a pregnancy, it can become distended and stretched and even tear down some connective tissue in the front. That's what we refer to as diastasis recti. It happens in about 60% of pregnancies. Most women, I dare say, don't even know that that's there. It's imperative that we train the right exercises, that we train the right muscles in order to heal up and treat that condition in order to minimize the appearance of that mommy tummy. Basically, it's a little more complicated than what most people think. And so that being said, this workout that I wanted to show you today are just great exercises at, again, activating the right muscles while decreasing pressure on the wrong muscles in order to start to train that mommy tummy, in order to start to heal up that diastasis recti. Now, I've actually just came out with an entire series of exercises in in order to help you to heal up that mommy tummy. This is actually the first in that series of exercises. You have to progress these. There has to be a progression. As you get stronger and healthier, we have to push harder and harder in order to continue to close that gap, in order to continue to minimize the appearance of that mommy tummy. I call it the mommy tummy fix. What I'm going to do is leave a link down below in this description to this video to that workout plan. It's actually a workout plan, a healthy eating plan, an activity guide. Basically, we approach it from all angles with the understanding that mommy tummy or pooch or belly, whatever you wanna call it, isn't going to resolve just by doing some ab exercises. You have to clean up your eating. You have to also increase your activity. You have to do that the right way in order to burn fat. Those are the types of issues that we address in the Mommy Tummy Fix. And so I hope that you guys check that out. Again, it's a, it's a killer workout. It's one that I actually ran my wife through. I've ran her through it actually four times after each of her four pregnancies. The results have been super effective. She looks great. She feels great. Those are the same things that I ran her through. Those are the same things that I ran Run dozens and dozens of clients through in my PT clinic and personal training. Those are the things that I want to help you guys out with. I hope you take the chance to click on that link down below. But with no further ado, what we're going to do is jump into this workout one of the Mommy Tummy Fix. Again, simple exercises geared towards activating the right muscles in the right way in order to help you heal up a diastasis recti in order to start to heal up that mommy tummy. Let's get into it right now. So in this workout plan, we're gonna avoid crunches, we're gonna avoid sit-ups, we're not even gonna hit plank a lot, just because that activates a ton of that rectus abdominis muscle. Now, the one that we are after is going to be what we call the transverse abdominis muscle. Now this is your deepest abdominal layer. It goes, it originates right on your lower back, it wraps around your sides, and then it connects right in, kind of right underneath where that um, transverse abdominus, or excuse me, where the rectus abdominis is. Trans Transverse is the one that comes around, rectus is the one that comes down. This is the one we want to activate, not this one. And so that's what this first workout is geared towards. We just want to start to fire that TA, that transverse abdominus. We want to do it effectively. That's going to be the foundation that we're going to build this entire workout series around. That's the one that's going to help you guys out the most. That's going to help shrink down that waistline and get that pre-pregnancy tummy back, okay? So let's get to it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is again, just work on activating that muscle. Your first exercise is a posterior pelvic tilt 
with a brace or with a TA activation. And so Camille, she's laying down here on the table and what I'm gonna have her do is actually lift her lower back up off the table. And so super exaggerated, but you can see, maybe let's push but this. Just, put it. Oh, wherever, yeah, right there is just fine. Okay. You can see that I can slip my hand underneath her lower back. She's got a big space right here um, underneath her lower back. To activate the right muscle, we gotta put your back in the right position. We're gonna actually do a posterior pelvic tilt. So she's gonna rock her, rock her hips backwards and she's gonna smash her lower back down into the table. You see, I can't get underneath there anymore. That's your visual. So we're gonna hit that posterior pelvic tilt and now what she's gonna do is she's gonna activate that transverse abdominus muscle. How we do that, I want her to draw her navel back in towards her spine. And so it's kind of the suck it in muscle. Again, it's, it's, it's a corset basically, you guys. If you can kind of envision that, it's your corset muscle that's gonna suck everything in, kind of drawing the navel back towards her spine, and then relax. Nice, don't hold your breath while you do this. Oh, man. You're notorious for holding your I breath am. while you do this. And so that's your first exercise. So we're gonna rock into that posterior pelvic tilt. So flatten your back, tighten your tummy. Okay, and so again, it's that TA activation that we're after. What I tell my patients in my PT clinic, I say, okay, I'm gonna hit you in your stomach. We get them in this position, I'm gonna hit you, you ready? And then, I, and then they're like, oh man, that's what the brace feels like, is you want to activate those ab muscles just like someone's gonna punch you. And so, posterior pelvic tilt with the abdominal brace. You're gonna do that, you're gonna hold it for three seconds, you're gonna do it 10 times, and then you're gonna repeat that three times. So 30 times total on that one. Exercise number two, we're gonna take the posterior pelvic tilt with the brace and we're gonna build on it. Actually, for the next six workouts, we're gonna build on this. This is the foundation for everything. We wanna get the back in the right spot and we wanna get that TA muscle activated. That's your everything, everything, everything is built around that. Exercise number two, let's build upon it. We're gonna do a posterior pelvic tilt, we're gonna hit the abdominal brace, and now what I want Camille to do is actually hold that while we add a march. So she's gonna hold her back flat, she's gonna hold her tummy tight, she's gonna lift this left knee up to my hand, and then back down, right knee up to my hand, and then back down, and then sometimes, so she's, again, she's, she's far enough along, we've been doing this long enough that she can just crank out these marches. Some of you, it might be plenty to just, and so go ahead and relax. And so we're gonna posterior pelvic tilt, we're gonna tighten the tummies, march left, march right, and then relax, okay? And then set it up again. Posterior pelvic tilt, suck in the tummy, march left, march right, and then relax, okay? If you can do more than just one march on each side, by all means do it. That's kind of the progression to this. Maybe you can do three or four marches on each side before you feel like, okay, I need a break, my abs are cramping up, I need to relax. And so as many as you can, but we're gonna hit 30 marches on each leg. So, so three sets of 10. So 10 marches on each side, repeat that three times. That's exercise number two. Exercise number three, we're gonna kick on a little bit different muscle group. We're gonna hit the adductors. So to do that, I've got a little little ball here. Um, if you've got kids, you've probably got balls laying around the house <laughs> everywhere. I know we certainly do. Um, if you don't, a pillow, you can fold a pillow in half is another great thing. I'm gonna put this right between our knees. So again, a ball, or if you fold a pillow in half and put that between your knees, that's another thing you can do. And so let's set it up again. First two steps are gonna be the same. So we're gonna do that posterior pelvic tilt. She's gonna draw in her belly button. She's gonna hold that contraction. Now what I want her to do is squeeze this ball between her knees. So we're gonna squeeze right here, hold for about a three second count, two, three, and then relax. Okay, so posterior pelvic tilt, suck in the tummy, squeeze, hold, one, two, three, and then relax. Now, bonus with this, you guys have probably, I hope you've heard of Kegels before. Kegel or Kegel, potato, potato, right? And so that is a pelvic floor contraction. Um, basically, what I tell people is pretend like you're trying not to pee and pretend like you're trying not to fart. Like, like really, there's no... <laughs> easier way to describe what a Kegel contraction is, okay? So you wanna, like you're cutting off the flow of urine or you're trying not to pass gas. Those are the things that I tell people. And so if you want with this exercise, so to activate this adductor muscle group is a great way that you can kind of facilitate and activate those Kegel muscles as well. Kind of that pelvic ring, kind of pelvic floor muscle group. Crucial in postpartum women. <laughs> if you ever want to jump rope without going potty, again, that is what we 
we need to activate. We joke because we were just we were just in the gym this morning, and <laughs> that, anyway, can't jump rope yet. Can't quite jump rope yet. We're getting there. And so again, so exercise number three: the posterior pelvic tilt with the ball squeeze. We're we're going backwards here. We're flat here. We're nice and braced. We're squeezing here. Contract, and then we're going to squeeze those those Kegel muscles, those pelvic floor muscles. Hold one, two, three, and then relax everything. Okay, and so that's exercise number three. Exercise number four, we're going to get into some bridges. And so to do a bridge, what I want her to do, all of a sudden, we don't necessarily need to hit that pelvic tilt, but I do want you to hit the abdominal muscle contraction. So hit that TA activation, so she's sucked in, her belly button is sucked in. Now what she's going to do is squeeze her glutes and lift her hips up off of the table. Hold that for, I can't remember what we just talked about on week one. I want to say that's about a three second hold, and then go ahead and come back down. Okay, and so the tummy's nice and tight. Again, if nothing else, it's that TA muscle that we're activating. TA muscle activation, suck it in nice and tight, squeeze the glutes, lift up, try to hold that for about a three second count, and then come right back down. That's exercise number four. Number five, we're gonna get, we're gonna roll Camille over onto her side. Let's put you on your left side, babe. And then we're going to hit the, hit the hips a little bit. When we talk about strong core, we talk, we talk about four, strong muscle groups. And so I tell people we want to hit the front, we want to hit the abs, we want to hit the side, and we want to hit the back. And so that's what this is all kind of centered around. We've done a lot for the tummy. That's where the emphasis is. That undergoes the most stress in pregnancy. We've got some bridges for the back. We've got some ball squeezes for the inside. Let's hit the outside a little bit. And so to do this, we're going to do what we'd call a side lying hip abduction. She's laying on her side. I'm going to bend the bottom leg. So she's laying on her left side, left leg's bent, right leg is out straight. And so I'm going to have her bring that back here just a little bit further. I'm looking for a straight line, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle needs to be a nice straight line all the way down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit that TA muscle activation. Now it's a little different laying on your side. You don't have gravity helping you out, but you, sh you still should be able to suck in and activate those muscles. She's going to hit that that TA activation, so that abdominal brace, and now we're gonna raise that right leg straight up towards the ceiling, and then right back down. Looks just like that, and so again, keep going on there. So some side lying hip abduction. Now the way that everybody cheats on this is if you let your hip roll back, and then try to do it, all of a sudden you're gonna feel that up front here in your hip flexors, that's not what I want. I want your hip abductors. So try to keep your hips stacked, one right on top of each other. You should feel this more towards your butt than in the, the, in the front, in the front of the hip. Looks just like that, cool. So that's exercise number five. So she's braced here. We're gonna hit 10 raises on the right, 10 raises on the left, and repeat that three times. So up to 30 raises on the right and 30 raises on the left are what we're gonna do, okay? And so then our last one is we're gonna get into a, so, so that was abduction, abduction. Now let's hit some adduction. So adduction is gonna be our last one. So to do that, um, what she's gonna do, she's gonna straighten out her left leg. Right leg actually crosses up and over in front of the left leg. Again, she's gonna stay as much on her side as she can. It's a little bit hard because this leg is gonna want to rotate you back. Just try to keep forward as much as you can. First step, always the most important, we're gonna hit that TA muscle activation, so she's gonna suck in her tummy here, and now this um, left leg is actually gonna be the one that's coming up towards the ceiling. And so you're gonna feel this a little bit more kinda of in the inner part of your thigh, kinda of in the groin muscle, but again, most importantly, I want that stomach sucked in and tight. So we're activating the TA while we're doing this hip motion, while we're bringing it kinda of up and over, we're crossing the midline of the body as we're coming up towards the ceiling, looks just like that. And she's gonna do the same thing as what we did on the abduction here. She's going to do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, and then we'll repeat that three times. And then, congratulations, you guys. That's workout one. Nailed it. <sighs> Try to contain your excitement. I'm so I know. glad. <laughs> and so, again, you guys, this has been a sample of our Mommy Tummy series. Now, this is a workout program. It's going to take you six to eight weeks. So it's not a set number of weeks that you're going to go through. It's basically based on how strong you get. Like you progress this at your own rate based on your own ability. And so really it's one of the best plans out there because it's tailored specifically for you. This is workout number one. There's five more workouts in this series. This is the, the, these are the exercises that I've used to put my wife back together after four of her pregnancies. This is the series that I use in hundreds of patients that I see postpartum, and it's just, it's incredibly effective. Um, get your body back, you know, stop hurting, 
increase your function, increase your strength, fit into those skinny jeans again, it's a great series. What I'm going to do is leave a link down below in the description to this video that's going to take you to more information about that Mommy Tummy series and also allow you to purchase it from there. So hey, I hope you guys found this effective. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, also hey, hit me a thumbs up button down there. That goes a long way in the YouTube world and kind of getting this recognized out there. And so thank you so much for those thumbs up, those likes in advance. If you haven't done so, this is also a great chance to subscribe to Tone and Titan on YouTube. I share a lot of workouts, um, physical therapy, kind of rehab-related advice, some, some delicious, you know, healthy recipes. My goal is to help you guys to become healthier and to achieve your fitness goals. That's what I'm all about. I hope you subscribe to this channel. If you do have any questions or comments about this or about any of the exercises or this workout or the Mommy Tummy series, please leave that down below and I'll be sure to answer that as soon as I can. And until next time, you guys, we'll see you right back here on Tone and Titan. Thank <laughs> you.